Oh, what is going on? Today we are gonna to talk about cycling shoes. These are the Giro Privateer R. I think R stands for regular. I have been riding this shoe for almost four years now. They've been my daily shoe for commuting, for long rides, for mountain biking, for road stuff. Uh, I like to use a two bolt SPD shoe for all of my riding. And so I've actually worn all the way through the bumper completely on the sole. So you can see that the plastic underneath is exposed. Become very flexy. So not as comfortable for those long rides or if I am actually doing like a hard ride, I can actually sometimes feel the pedals through the shoe flexing. And so because of all the wear, and tear on these shoes and just the fact that I ride them every day and I, I just love this shoe so much, I decided to get a second pair. Now, the thing is they've uh, discontinued this shoe or they've kind of evolved it. It has a lace-up pattern now, but I really like the Velcro and straps of these shoes. I'm a slip-on kind of guy. I don't like really spending time lacing up my shoes. These easy straps are great. So I just want to compare the wear on the soles. You can kind of take a look and see how much of that rubber bumper has been worn out. I've worn these shoes. I mean, I've worn these shoes to work. I've worn them to go out with my friends by accident. You know, you, you're riding and then somebody asks you to meet up and then you end up like going dancing. And so I could even like feel after that night out like that there's just so much less stiff and good for riding. So today we're gonna to be installing some cleats. It's a fairly straightforward process. You gotta figure out where on the sole of the shoe you like to have fall of your foot resting on the pedal. So in a two bolt cleat, you can actually push this, this carrier for the cleat forward and back so I like to have my cleat further back on my foot. With my road shoes, I actually have the cleat pulled all the way to the back. So here you can see it pushing it forward, pulling it back. So you'll have to kind of experiment. That's the thing about this is do this process when you have a little bit of time, um, whether it's to just ride around in a parking lot or on your street to figure out where you like the setup uh, and position. So you can see my cleats are fairly uniform here. What I've noticed is that my, even though these are set up evenly, my left leg tends to wanna be further forward on the pedal than my right leg. So I'm gonna to try to actually adjust for that this time around and see if I like that setup, but we're gonna just go with it right now. So what you're gonna to need to install the cleats in your shoes is a little bit of grease um, for the bolts. The other thing that I like to have is a torque wrench and I'm just gonna get started. So I'm gonna look at my old bolt and kind of measure from there. I'm actually thinking about setting it in the rear most bolts this time and having the cleat a little bit further back. I just like the feeling of that uh, when I'm pedaling. I don't like to have my feet uh, angled forward. And I notice that if I have my cleat set up more forward that my toes want to point and I want to set my saddle up too high. And I think all of those things are related when it comes to setting up your cycling shoes. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just putting a little bit of grease on the bolt. The cleat comes with these kind of, um, it's like a face plate that allows the cleat to slide side to side. I like to set my cleats up just more in the center of the shoe. And again, yeah, it's a personal preference how I like to set my, uh, my pedals up. Some people like to ride with flats. I really like the feeling of clipping in it kind of maybe it has to do with like growing up um, skiing it's kind of feels like the same thing when you're clipping uh, if you've ever skied before it's like clipping into a ski boot and just feels really snug and secure on the bike um, but that's not to be said that that you can't have a good time with a set of flat pedals um, and I've been appreciating them more like the more that I ride with them I'm setting the left shoe up first, even though it's on my right hand side. And I'm gonna set the cleat a little bit further back than my 
right foot. And again, I am just tightening loosely right now. I'm not gonna torque it down. I can see it's much further back. It's about almost half a centimeter, but I think that that's going to be good. I really do want my cleats further back on this set of shoes. Same process, just drop the cleat on, kind of eye up where the bolt goes. Just roughly tight, loosely tighten it down. This shoe, the Privateer, is it still good in 2021? I think so. The thing that I like about this shoe a lot is that it looks kind of like a road shoe. It doesn't look like a skate shoe or like a, like a mountain bike shoe, which is usually a little bit bulkier. This looks like it's a road shoe. When I'm pedaling, I can't really tell the difference between the road shoes and the mountain bike shoes. There are a lot of road shoe options compared to mountain bike shoe options, especially when it comes to looking more like a road shoe. Okay, so I have my initial fit here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna ride with these shoes and see if I like where the cleat position is. Right, so I'm out test riding the shoes and actually I feel like I got the cleat position pretty good on the first go. My right foot feels perfect. My left foot still feels like maybe the cleat's a little bit too forward. I could actually probably pull it back a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Baby, it was hot out there from my test ride. What did I accomplish? Basically, I got the cleats a little bit further back on the shoes the way that I wanted them. Um, what I'm learning from how I'm riding, and if you look at, let's see, what shoe is this? I like to have a little bit of a uh, pigeon-toed type stance on the bike, especially when I'm climbing. So what I, So from looking at this shoe, the cleat is more this way. Um, if you look at them right here, you can see this one's more this way and this one's more this way. So I'm going to angle the cleat in just slightly on both shoes and then I think I'm good to go. The, so my advice, set up the cleats evenly when you first start. So, you know, in the same position, I think where maybe I've gone wrong in the past is I've adjusted the cleats together. Whereas I think what makes sense is to adjust the cleat per foot and what feels comfortable and try a whole bunch of different riding techniques. Seated, pedaling seated, standing, pedaling, climbing. Get a sense for how your knees and your ankles like to move with the pedals and then go back in and refine the positioning of the cleats. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to angle the cleats more inward toward the, the big toe, just slightly, because um, what I'm realizing is that I like a little bit of like a pigeon-toed stance or climbing out of the saddle. And that was really the only place where I was noticing a little bit of discomfort um, in this current position. Otherwise, I really like how having the left foot a little bit further back actually feels compared to the right foot. And it's really interesting. I just noticed that through time spent on the indoor trainer actually, just realizing that the mechanics of my, of my knees and of my feet are slightly different per foot, per leg. And I think that makes sense, you know, like we aren't fully symmetrical. All right, feeling pretty good about these now. Here's the old shoe again. I went dancing in it, I rode it almost every day for five years, four years, um, doing everything from long distance rides to road rides to commuting. And you can see it just wore the shoe completely out. The uppers actually held up really well. So if you can get your hands on a set of these, um, I think that they're a really great shoe. I have a wider foot 
Um, so some Jiro shoes actually don't work for me, but for some reason this shoe has a little bit of a wider profile. Some of their shoes are like shaped like a burrito, which if you have wide feet, it's really uncomfortable, especially in the outside here. But these ones, for me, they work really well. And so I think it's also, if you're unsure, you should definitely just try on a bunch of different pairs and see what works for you. Um, I really like this shoe. Um, a friend of mine, when I first got into SPD shoes, actually let me borrow a set of these. Um, so I got to ride them for about a week and I could tell that they just fit my feet. And so that's when I decided to go for a pair. Now I bought this gray pair on eBay, I think also for around 50 to $60. And I bought this pair recently also for about $60. So you can get good deals on cycling shoes, especially if they've been discontinued. So I really recommend. So in 2021, I think that the Giro Privateer is still a great option for um, an all round two bolt compatible SPD shoe. You can use it for gravel. You can use it for mountain biking. You can use it for road. You can use it for commuting. You can use it for probably touring. Um, you can use it to go dancing in the Lower East Side in Manhattan with your friends. So highly recommend the shoe. I'm gonna ride it for a couple of days, see how I'm feeling about the position and everything, and I'll make some changes, and I think we'll be finalized with the fit. Anyway, if you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, there's gonna be more bike content, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.